All right, you guys, what's going on today? So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how to plug in your KRK Rocket Studio monitors. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, KRK Rocket came around back in about 2003 when they began manufacturing their very first uh, sets of studio monitors. Uh, they are currently a subsidiary of the Gibson Company, and we are now in 2020 where they are producing the KRK Rocket uh, G4 uh, series and the G4 stands for Generation 4, of course, and the uh, the ones you're looking at right now are the eights, um, which stand for eight inch low frequency driver. I believe right now they make fives, sixes, eights, and ten threes. They used to make other ones as well, but uh, yeah, things have things have changed a little bit over the years. Um, the cool thing is, what hasn't changed is uh, how you plug in your studio monitors. Now, because these are active monitors, you uh, are going to need to uh, have them individually plugged in. Uh, as you can see right here, they uh, have an AC 100 240 volt uh, input, um, and this is where your power is going to run from. Uh, these cables, you can pretty much find them anywhere. Uh, Caracade does actually supply you with them, uh, with two of them, one for each studio monitor when you get it. Um, Although, you know, if for whatever reason, maybe you're getting these second hand and it doesn't come with one, or, uh, you know, you, I don't know, lose it or misplace it or break it or something, they're really, really easy to get. You can get them for 10 bucks. You most likely have one uh, or a few laying around the house somewhere, probably running your TV, running other larger um, electrical uh, components or electrical uh, devices. Um, so, you know, these are really, really easy to find. You can find them just about anywhere. Um, now, for me, I think it's, it's really important uh, because I'm running a, a quite a bit of gear here, you know, I have my, my monitors, my computer, um, I have my keyboard, which is over here stacked up right now. I also have a guitar amp in here and, and just a lot of other gear. I think it's important that everything has uh, its own sort of dedicated power uh, supply, which is why I think that the best thing that you can possibly do is to hook up uh, to some sort of power strip. And as you can see down here, I'll move down here and you can kind of get a look. At what I have going on. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a cable mess right now. I'm in the, in the process of cleaning things up, but as you can see, I have one studio monitor plugged in over here. Uh, and this is to a power strip, a uh, really, really nice protected Kensington power strip. And then if you move over here, I also have um, the other monitor plugged into this one. Uh, again, it's really nice, trip light protected grounded power strip. And both of these power strips are plugged into separate outlets. Um, now, of course, you don't need to have them plugged into separate outlets, but I always feel that, um, you know, it's best to not run uh, equipment that draws a lot of power from um, all from one outlet. Uh, it's just, you know, uh, an easy way to have an outage, uh, and you don't want that happening. Uh, it's just not, uh, you know, not something you want to have to deal with. Yeah, uh, but other than that, pretty simple plug them in separately, flip them on, and then uh, however you choose to plug them into your TV, computer, MacBook, interface, laptop, whatever, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about plugging in your KRK systems, rocket monitors, or uh, if you have any insights about what you feel are the best ways to uh, plug these in so that they work optimally and um, you know make sure to conserve power and things like that, uh, then uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments. All right, that's all. Take it easy, you guys.